Greetings, Benjamin J. the Victrola Guy with another in the series on the Edison 1878 tinfoil phonograph. So while I'm waiting for that new foil to arrive, I'm recording on kitchen foil. This is handy foil, heavy duty aluminum foil, extra strength, heavier, thicker, stronger. And uh, made by handyfoil.com, Wheeling, Illinois. Packaged in USA from foil made in Armenia. So, in any case, I've taken a piece of foil, I've cut it to two and a half inches wide, and I've applied a acid-free glue stick to the back of it, as always, and we're going to make a test recording on this heavy-duty kitchen foil. So, I'm going to roll this stuff onto the mandrel, that adhesive really seems to help. It holds it in position anyway. So rolling this on to the mandrel, trying to keep it as wrinkle-free as possible. Okay, we're at the overlap. Let's go down and really burnish this stuff down to the mandrel. I'm just using my thumb, applying a lot of pressure to this. Got a little bit of glue on here. There we go. Okay, so we'll roll these edges over. Now, two and a half inches is almost too wide, but it sure helps getting this stuff on the mandrel straight. So we'll roll down this edge nice and tight. this edge. That uh, foil tape that I've been using really gets you spoiled because it's so easy to use. There's no preparation involved. You just pick up a piece, pull the backing off of it, and stick it on the mandrel. This stuff, you have to pull out a sheet, cut it into five separate strips, burnish it, smooth it out as much as possible, turn it over, apply the adhesive, and then immediately put it on the phonograph because it can't set that uh, adhesive will just uh, tack up and dry out really quickly. I mean it is just a glue stick. So it's on the mandrel nice and smooth and nice and tight. Go across it one more time and really burnish this stuff down. Okay now this is only a thousandth of an inch thick that foil tape I've been using is three thousandths of an inch thick. So I'm going to increase the depth of cut slightly just to see what kind of recording we get on this foil. So we'll go back to our starting groove which is right there. That's the first groove on the mandrel I believe. Yep, that's the first groove on the mandrel. Okay, we have our stylus holder locked in position. Everything is set. Uh, we're going to be recording on heavy duty aluminum foil made in Armenia that's uh, been cut into a two and a half inch strip. And I've applied a glue stick to the shiny side. We're recording on the dull side. So let's see what kind of recording we get on extra heavy duty or extra strength heavy duty aluminum kitchen foil. Hello, hello, hello! Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare. And so the poor dog had none. Ha, ha, ha! All right. So, like I said, it seems really strange saying something besides Mary had a little lamb to this machine. So we'll rewind the mandrel to our starting point. I have no idea how this is going to sound. All right, so recording on extra heavy duty, or actually extra strength, heavy duty aluminum foil. Not great.
great results compared to that to aluminum foil tape. In fact, very few things I recorded on have worked as well or have been as easy as that aluminum foil tape, that aluminum foil duct tape that I've been recording on. Let's play this one more time. Alright, so it's still not cut deep enough. So, like I said, this is a thousandth of an inch thick. That uh, tape that I've been using is three thousandths of an inch thick. So I probably needed to really increase the depth of this cut. But uh, anyway, I'm just doing a quick experiment, um, waiting for that new foil to get here from eBay. I've got uh, two different kinds of foil coming. One's made of copper and one's made of aluminum. So we shall see. Um, with some setup and some uh, adjustment, this would make a decent recording. It's, it's fairly quiet. In fact, it's very quiet as far as background noise. But it doesn't produce a recording that's as loud, uh, obviously, as that aluminum foil tape. So that foil tape seems to work. I mean, it really does. It seems to make a consistently good recording. Not perfect, but it makes a, a fairly decent recording. So anyway, I just want to document this experiment. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, thevictrolaguy at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.